couple of bizarre goals from uh, Kelly's Ajax. One of them, uh, he heads one in and he takes the other one, tough angle out of midair. Uh, you go to the net, you put pucks there. Uh, good things happen. I thought there was a lot of loose pucks bouncing around there. We, we uh, didn't find uh, as many as we would have liked, but um, I thought they played a pretty tight game. And, um, uh, you know, when that happens, you have to find a way to get pucks. And uh, they're ugly ones, but we'll, we'll take a bunch of those. Was there a concern about what they were going to bring tonight? I mean, with all the ATOs and yeah, with not really knowing, to be honest with you, probably three quarters of their lineup. Um, you know, you, you you run it. You're going to run into these situations where you got some of these ATOs coming in, and there's no history on them, and uh, they're all they're all young kids that are, are are trying to make an impression, regardless whether they've played pro, whether they're up from the East Coast League, or they're draft picks, or they're just. Guys that have, are getting a, a look, um, you know, the one thing that they're going to provide, and they, I thought they did tonight, is they're going to they're going to work and they're going to skate. And I, I thought they uh, gave us problems that time tonight, and our guys got a little frustrated, and um, you know, we stuck with it. And, and I think the third period was certainly our best. And uh, leading up to the goal and after the goal, we started skating and, and putting pucks behind and, and spent some more time in the offensive zone. They were able to find some good chances. How? Uh, what can you say about uh, Q's performance? I thought he was real solid. I, I thought he was real solid tonight. He looked sharp. He was focused. Tracked the puck well. A um, couple scrambles in front, and he just jumped on him, gobbled him up, and didn't uh, really provide too much uh, uh, secondary chances. He had a couple of nice ones near the end. About four minutes left. Yeah, you know, you're in desperation mode too, especially when the goalie's out. I think all three of our forwards blocked the shot there, Timmins, uh, Pelly, and, and Zajac. So that's what you need this this time of year, and uh, you need that desperation from the goaltender out, especially when you got a one-goal lead. As a coach, what do you think of uh, when the other team pulls the goalie? Do you have a certain strategy? Like you put a lot of guys out there that can win draws. And yeah, and keep it out of your net. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to get in shooting lanes. You got to, you know, you, you, they got an extra guy, so you got to hold the middle of the ice a little more, uh, especially in the offensive, uh, defensive zone. But the biggest thing is when they're going to move it around the perimeter. It's almost a power play situation. You got to make sure you're, you're blocking shots, and when you get an opportunity to get it out, you got to win that battle and get it out. You lost Pelly there for a little while in the second period. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that? Just ditches. So he took a puck in the face there. and um, Yeah, I think we lost him for about four or five shifts. So he got stitched up and got back. I think Norfolk lost tonight. Uh, Did not know that. And then, uh, back at it tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, it, everybody's going to look at it. I think Tommy just pulled it up before we, I even sat down. But uh, you know, again, we got to we got to worry about tomorrow night, and uh, we got to just keep getting points here and and moving forward, and we'll be fine.